What's up everybody, it's Dr. Steve coming to you here from Elevate Sport and Spine Therapy in Denver, Colorado. Uh, today I want to take some time to talk about some concepts in mobility versus just kind of specific mobilizations that we tend to kind of see all around people really concerned about, hey, how do I mobilize the shoulder? Hey, how do I mobilize an ankle? But I think really what's more important is if we learn kind of the concepts of mobility, uh, then we can kind of apply those things on our own and find that how, how to kind of adapt them for our needs personally. Uh, so over the next little while, uh, I'm going to be making a bunch of different videos about different concepts in mobility and how to use the different tools um, and use different sort of methods with those tools to achieve different results. Uh, so the first one that I want to talk about is kind of the most basic one, which is scanning. Uh, and that's kind of using these different things at the foam roll, uh, using maybe the peanut, which is just two lacrosse balls that have been taped together, uh, and then these larger balls and smaller balls, uh, depending on what parts of the body that we're working on, to sort of scan the system and see, you know, if there's any areas that might require more types of work, deeper work, you know, different types of uh, uses of these tools to kind of dig in there and do more appropriate work for those areas versus just kind of finding them and working them out. Uh, so the first place I would start is just kind of using the foam roll because it can be used in so many different places. You really don't need a lot of equipment, uh, just one of these guys and some space on the ground. And we can use this to kind of identify any areas uh, in our body just simply by passing over it. And uh, the easiest way to do it is just really to get on top of it and just kind of roll back and forth. Uh, what we can do really, if you find a spot that's tender, a good thing to do is just to kind of compare it to the other side and go, oh yeah, I can kind of notice a bit of a difference in there. So maybe that is an area that we need to think about and just mark down and come back to later with some of these other things that I'll talk about in the future as to how to kind of treat them out. Um, so one of the things that I would recommend though, if you are just, if you don't have a lot of time and you're just scanning one part of your body, is to make sure that we scan the adjacent joints as well. So like if I'm working here in my calf, then the other two joints I want to make sure that I check out are the foot here and then the thigh uh, up to the hip uh, to make sure that there's nothing kind of in there that may be contributing to my, my tenderness that I feel. Uh, so that is a pretty easy thing to do. You can use this foam roller kind of anywhere in your body. Uh, the one thing that I tell people to make sure that they avoid is laying over the top of the foam roll uh, down in the lumbar spine because I just feel that it shears through the joints a little bit too much. So if you do have some stuff that's in there, the better way to go about it is to kind of put it up against the wall so we're not putting quite so much pressure in against it and that we're just doing kind of slow passes by putting different amount of pressure in towards the wall instead. Uh, other than that, things to avoid are kind of sharp, recognizable pain, anything that feels like pain that you can't kind of relax into, things that you can't breathe comfortably through are things where you need to kind of either back off it altogether uh, and go get it checked out uh, or just kind of reduce the pressure that you're putting on them to make it more comfortable, uh, kind of working your depth in as things get uh, a little less tender. Um, I would also avoid anything that causes uh, increasing pain as we're doing it. So if it started out kind of tender, but by the time we're getting done, it's even more tender than that, I would avoid that again and go get it checked out. Uh, and then things that cause kind of lingering pain after we get done for more than maybe a minute or two uh, are things that you also want to kind of avoid those areas again making sure you're getting it checked out, make sure it's not something serious and that it is something that will respond to this sort of uh, intervention on your own. Um, so, you know, just the easy thing about this is that there's really no wrong way to do it. You can kind of put it on any part of your body and if you're just working in an area that you feel like the foam roll is not the right tool for, uh, then maybe the peanut is the right thing to do. Uh, this one in particular for scanning, I kind of like doing for the spine just from about here down to here again. And if we want to do the low back again, just standing up against the wall, putting pressure in there. It's kind of designed to fit on both sides of the spine, uh, but does get a little bit more concentrated than the foam roll and a little bit more specific. Uh, the ball here, the larger ball, is a really good option for the bigger muscles here like the glute. We can get in there a little bit easier than we can with the foam roll. Um, and then the small ball is really good for hands and feet and other areas kind of for scanning uh, pretty simply. Um, 
So after you've kind of scanned some stuff, we can kind of think about the considerations as to timing of all this, like how long should I be working in one of these areas, when should I be doing this before or after workout, and my general recommendations are that you should spend between a minute or so in any one area to two minutes, um, and then we can kind of alter the speed with which we're working through that area and the amount of pressure that we're putting on depending on what timing we're doing for either before a workout or after a workout, beginning of the day versus the end of the day. Um, and those recommendations, I guess, would be that if it's you know kind of in the beginning of the day, we're trying to get things moving, get the nervous system sort of woken up, that we need to change the, uh, the speed with which we're kind of rolling through here. Um, so what I would recommend instead of these nice slow passes, uh, is sort of more rapid passes, just one second passes, just going back and forth. So if you're just in one area, we'll think about just one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, and just kind of doing that for a minute to two minutes in that one area. Again, checking everywhere in that zone and then checking the adjacent two zones as well. Uh, so like if, just for example, if it's my bicep that I'm working, we want to make sure we're checking forearm and that we're checking shoulder as well. So you can use these concepts kind of for any area in the body. Just find the next two segments that are kind of associated with it uh, and check there. If we're kind of getting towards the end of the day, if we're after a workout, we want to kind of calm things down a little bit more, more like a massage that we get where we get that nice relaxation feeling. Uh, then we kind of want to slow down things and sort of increase our pressure a little bit so that we're activating a different part of the nervous system which sort of calms things down. Uh, so same sort of idea, a minute to two minutes in each area, but what we're going to do is just really sort of slowly pushing through there, getting a good amount of pressure in, and I always tend to like to work uh, from distal to proximal. So in this case, we're just trying to milk any of that stuff that's in the joint back towards the uh, internal organs, which can kind of filter out any of this stuff, uh, keep it out of our system. So I would just kind of work from bottom to top, nice slow passes. If you find any area that are particularly tender, then just kind of hang out there for about that 30 second count, and then you can kind of move along, just kind of work in that one zone again. And again, check in the two zones, but if it's the end of the day, I would say just do kind of a top to bottom pass, starting with your feet, working your way all the way up the back, uh, and then finding any areas in the arms and hands that are feeling pretty good may be a great way to help get you tuned down before you go to bed. Uh, so those are pretty basic uh, ways to go through with the scanning procedure. Uh, the next time we'll probably talk about uh, sort of different ways to get into individual muscles, uh, but the same sort of thing that it's not gonna be specific. It'll be a tool that we can use to sort of apply to any muscle in our body that we're finding using the scanning that we need to do a little bit more targeted work on. Um, so that's pretty much it for today. If you guys have any questions, as always, feel free to contact me here at the clinic. Uh, other than that, happy mobilizing, and we'll see you next time. Take it easy.